Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol GME. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. I'm not sure what I mean by 30 minute. I do offer an explanation video at that link. Did this analysis on Wednesday, so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from. And overall today, nice solid move. Uh, not nearly as exciting as what it was on Wednesday. But the first update I'm going to do is just a little adjustment here. And the key question really becomes, well, what direction is this adjustment being made? So now that we have more data, it's become very clear that the key level of resistance now going forward is going to be right up there at that $9.30 mark. I mean, you can see just... Time after time today, the price tried to get up through that level and just couldn't quite do it. So 9.30 going to be that main and newest area of resistance. But again, goes back to, well, what direction did that adjustment need to be made? And I mean, not, not to insult your intelligence, but I needed to move that red line higher. And assuming you are bullish, that's exactly what you want to see. Whenever levels of resistance need to be adjusted in the upwards direction, no, that doesn't mean that it's guaranteed for the price is going to explode. But the point here being from a, a trend building perspective, that is definitely a good sign. And like you just saw, that was what was needed to be done here. Now, if $9.30 can be broken, the newest key overarching level of resistance is not just going to be where the parting momentum stopped during that opening day surge right up there at the, uh, let's see how it is, 977. So that still remains the overarching level. But before you put really any focus or any energy on 977, price needs to first prove itself that it can actually get back above $9.30. As far as levels of support are concerned, nothing new here to report from previous videos. Still have the green line down there, which did a good job of not only holding strong today, but ne was never really tested. That's at 825. And then from the overarching standpoint of support, keep an eye on that purple line right there, the 50 period moving average currently val currently valued right around, we'll just call it $7.80. So overall though, the uptrend continues. So it'll be interesting to see how this one closes out the week on Friday. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.